Mate, you're a fucking lunatic, honestly. You're a madman. Fucking mad. Fair play, though. Right. I'm good. <laughs> My man. Top man. Be final. Yeah. I'll you see you in Berlin. See you in Berlin, but I'll, um, I won't be driving there. I bet. I'll get a. Probably do a flight to somewhere and train. Yeah, let me know. I reckon I won't then. Good bet. Yeah, but I'll let you know. Yeah, alright, mate. Top man. Been, been good. Been good, mate. Let's do it again. Let's do it again Sunday. See you, mate. Top oh, good morning on day 27 of our European road trip. We are going to Berlin. What a fucking night. James has just left. He got here yesterday. He drove five hours. He was on the 4 a.m. ferry. He got here about midday and we went straight out. We got in at one o'clock this morning and... Ironed out a bottle of wine between us just to celebrate. Uh, it's now 8.30 in the morning and he's just left. I said to him, you're fucking mad. So he's had to go home. But he is coming back for the final. But he just said he's, he's not driving that. He's going to fly. There is no flights to Berlin. And it's nine hours from Calais. So he said he's not driving that one. But fair play to him. He's a fucking proper England fan. Millwall fan as well. He's in the England supporters club. He goes everywhere. So he got a free bed. Last night, but he more than made up for it in the uh, beers that he bought. <sighs> and I now need to move on. I have not got anywhere booked for this today. I've got to check out of here at 11. I'll be honest, I, I did think we were going to get knocked out last night. Obviously, I'm so fucking glad we didn't. But, um, yeah, I've got to be out of here in about two hours. I've already started the edit for last night's video. That is probably the best 20 euros I've ever spent because his room is boiling. I don't know what the problem is with this room. It's not as nice as the uh, McDreams in Essen, but I'd take either one of them right now, but I'm not going to stay here again tonight. I was considering driving to Berlin and sleeping in my car, but what I'd save in hotels, I'll lose in petrol, and I'm a long way from home, and the turd bless her, she's done unbelievable for me, but I'm just not sure if she'll make it, so I'm going to try and plot up here tonight somewhere, somehow I've got to get that edit done. Um... And I've got to put a Jaffa Ten Ganga video out today as well. Obviously, he signed for us yesterday. And then I'll need to sort of relocate as well. I can't check in anywhere else till three. And I've got to be out of here at 11. So, yeah, I've got a bit of hanging around. I've conquered all the local football teams. Dortmund was stadium 17 last night. And uh, where I'm going next, I don't know. But I do know something. I'm going to get the train to Berlin tomorrow. I was going to wait till Saturday. It's a £45 return. If I was going to go on Saturday, come on Monday... But I think that I'm going to go tomorrow because there's no point me sitting around and doing nothing when there's five football clubs in Berlin. I watched a Copper 90 documentary once on that. So I might as well do that. Go and tick some more grounds off probably on uh, on Saturday. And then Sunday's the big one. Tickets are going for about £2,000 a piece at the minute online, which is extortionate. I don't think I'll be going. Let's jump in the shower, get this edit finished, pack up the stuff, get to the car and then... Hopefully by that point, I might have had tank sorted. Right, what we'll patal. It's been emotional. It's five to 11, I'm out of here. How are we doing? I'm a little bit rejuvenated after last night's performance, of course. It's midday, I'm sitting in the car park in Wuppertal at the McDreams Hotel. And I'm, I'm, I'm assessing my options. I said earlier about Berlin and potentially driving there. And like I said, what I'll saving hotels I'll lose in petrol and potentially lose the car full time so I thought okay maybe I'll just try and stay localish to here because I've got a bit of work to do as I said and I found the Great Western which is 60 quid for one night it's got an indoor swimming pool and you get breakfast thrown in with that so that's an option but then I was just thinking when I get back from Berlin I'm going to be going, heading towards home anyway, so would it be worth driving towards home? And I just looked at uh, Antwerp and at Eindhoven. So when I do get back from Berlin, I've only got two hours to get back to Calais. Obviously, I'm currently four hours away from Calais. So maybe do that, you know, drive towards home, even though I'm going back for the final. But I've just looked and the trains from um, Eindhoven are about 140 quid. Which ain't bad, but it's an 11-hour train, and you've got to change. So, 
Yeah, still weighing up my options. It's quite exciting, really, in a sense, but at the same time, well, I could sleep in here tonight if need be. Those back seats are collapsed. I can move everything into the front. I've got two sleeping bags, two black mattresses, and I've got all my bedding from, from at home, so I could set up a comfy bed if I have to. I've had a shower this morning. I'm really not sure what to do. As I say, quite exciting, but at the same time, not worrying, but, you know, I'd like to have a plan. <laughs> It'll be good. I'll keep you posted. So there you go, I've left the hotel, and this is how far I've made it, about 20 yards up the road to the petrol station. Just been in and bought a sandwich and uh, a bottle of water for a potential journey, but I've been looking at it, I've been thinking about it. In reality, the best I can probably hope for today is to go to the Best Western, which is a mile and a half from here, because I can get the train tomorrow from where I am for a 45 pound return to Berlin tomorrow, return Monday. The further I drive towards home, the further I've got to go back on the train in distance and hours, and the more expensive the train gets, the further away, obviously, from it you go. So I think I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm going to go to this Best Western. So I parked up here about an hour and a half ago. I've just finished the edit from match day, which will be going out. You will have seen it by now. And I was just sitting in the car editing with the engine running and it's fucking gone again so I've left it an hour and a half hopefully it'll start because I'm sort of hanging out on the road a little bit and I'm not entirely sure that I can even park there because I've seen green badges so I'll ask her in the uh, hotel I should have asked just then she just said to me speaking to Deutsch and I said no English but I'm checking in she said okay no worries just going to get some stuff from my car but all I've got clean now to wear is two, the mobile office. All I've got clean to wear now is, well, we can't even wear them, two Spider-Man ponchos. So I need to do some washing before I get the train to Berlin tomorrow, which I still haven't booked. Um, so I need to get that done as soon as I'm in the room. And I've still got no accommodation in Berlin. Just sat in this lovely hotel, sitting here editing. And I've just come back in to ask her about parking. And she said, I can't find your name. I said, good, me. She said, can you show me the reservation number? I showed her my booking.com app. She said, yeah, you're in the wrong hotel. <laughs> so I was staying about a mile down that road. And when I left that hotel at the McDreams, I just typed in Ibis Hotel. And this is where it, it took me. I did wonder when I pulled up and saw that. I thought, oh, it's just an old sign. That's a new sign. And this did used to be the Ibis Hotel, but it no longer is. And this other one's about six miles away, so I want to hope the turn starts, so I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, my life. And now the moment of truth. It's absolutely baking again today. It's overcast and really humid and muggy, so probably has an elk, the car's boiling as well. Come on. Oh, fuck's sake. Slightly worrying, because the longest I've left it before was when I broke down in Bonn, and that was for about three, four hours. Went back and it started. Usually it starts again about half an hour. I said, I've been here. I'm in the hotel in the road for, for at least an hour, probably close to an hour and a half and it's still not starting. Could this be the death of the blue turd? I've just fired it up. Put my foot down before I switched it on. And it backfired. <laughs> but it's come back on. It's petrol in it, it's still like 60 miles in it. <sighs> we'll come back some Frank Sinatra this mower. Brilliant, that nav's taking me on the fucking motorway. And here it is, the Ibis Hotel, we made it. It looks like some advantages and some disadvantages to this place. First things first, there's absolutely nothing here. I'm in a place called W Obama, it's not like West Obama, it's called W Obama. God knows what. Oh, hang on. I said there was nothing here. Surely, Shiraz. Oh, hang on. That's going to be a wine bar. I don't know what. Oh, it's a restaurant here. I don't know why it looks like a full Indian. Probably not. But yeah, some advantages is, and disadvantages, it's in the middle of nowhere. Although there is a restaurant there, Spain flag there. Um, 
obviously where I was, there's plenty of options to eat and stuff. I ain't got no money anyway, so it probably doesn't matter. There's no options to eat. This is about 15 minutes outside of Wuppertal, and it's actually closer to Dortmund, and it looks like I might be able to leave my car here. I'm not just going to leave it here and leave it here. I'm going to ask if I can pay to leave it here, because I'm going to be gone. Hopefully tomorrow morning, I'm going to book the train when I get in the room. As I said, my edit's done. i just got to film and edit a Jaffet Tanganga video, but that won't take long later on, though. No, we're near as long as a don't take me home takes to edit and sift through fucking hours worth of footage. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan. It's gone three o'clock, just so. Perfect timing. Let's check in. I need to clear up some potential confusion as well. I'm not sure if I've covered this, and obviously I can't watch it back until I edit it, so... I said this morning that I found a hotel, Best Western, indoor swimming pool, lovely, breakfast included, lovely. That would have been beautiful, but I am on a budget now, and I found this place, and it looks, the room actually looks nicer. There's no swimming pool or breakfast included, but it was half the price. It was £37 instead of £70 or 68 I think. So, fuck off, mate. So, yeah, I really, <laughs> as I just said, Counting the pennies, although I'm extremely tempted to go and see what Shiraz is all about later. And I've had to bite the bullet and come here, but it looks clean, it looks brand new. But as long as it's got a clean bed and a bathroom that I can use, then that's good enough for me. Oh, not another fucking one of these things, please no. Please no. Oh, there's a bar, look. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Looks alright. So much for not spending too much money. At least I won't be able to buy anything out of the vending machine. And we are in. Why are the lights not working? Ah, there they are. Another reason I didn't stay in Wuppertal for another night was the room was so fucking hot, it was an absolute joke. This is really dark as well. It's alright though, it's probably a lot better than it actually looks on camera. But this will do. Literally just the shower lot, there's more light in the shower. Then there is in the bedroom. And this must be the oh, El Toiletto. Oh, I'm delayed, but here you go. That'll do me 37 euros, pounds, sorry. <laughs> I'll check my trip to Berlin, get some video in and editing done. Oh, I'm going to need some light to film that same game, right? Ah, oh, fuck, I just be shit on the bed. I only thought that was three days, so. I was doing one. I know what you're thinking. I'm going to Shiraz for a lovely drop of dinner. I wish. I'm going to the jet garage. It's a sandwich and a bag of crisps for me. I'm just sitting here thinking how funny it is, the ups and downs of life in general, really. Yesterday, I was at the European Championship semi-final watching England win in injury time and sending this to Berlin. And today I'm sitting in the Daisy Inn Hotel in Wuppertal, or just like the road from it, editing, eating a sandwich and a bag of crisps for dinner. <laughs> oh dear. This gives you that's a blinded impression of me, by the way. I've been sitting in his van all day. Right, as if I didn't have enough to do today. Millwall have just signed Brian Jensen, the goalkeeper from Lincoln. So I need to now film a Tanganga video, film a Brian Jensen video. And I have just booked my ticket to Berlin. I'm going in the morning. I've got the cheapest one possible. It was 68 quid. And I leave Dusseldorf. No, it's not Dusseldorf. I keep calling that. I leave Dortmund at half past seven in the morning. I arrive in Berlin about half past 11, then I travel back on Monday at 11.30 a.m. I arrive back in Dortmund at about half past three, I think. I have no idea where I'm staying. I don't even think I've got any clean clothes and I'm gonna travel very, very light. So the next few days could be absolute hell for me, but it could be very, very entertaining for you. Right, back to the editing. Like a ghost town earlier starting to really fill up now and I keep saying that I'm getting back to the editing I haven't even fucking filmed yet it's six o'clock or half six I think German time makes it half five at home and I want to get an early night because I'll get up at six as I just said so I've got to film 
Oh, the lighting's terrible as well. So I have to film there. The lighting's terrible, yeah. I have to film and edit a Tanganga video and a Jensen video because I'm not going to get the time to um, to film either of those tomorrow. So, um, yeah, could be a late night and early morning, but one last push. Tournament ends in three days. Is it Thursday? I think it is. Yeah, it's Thursday. Go to put the train for Friday. Right, come on in. There you go. The Jaffet Tanganga video is up. I am on the red wine. And I've got one video to go. It is 8 p.m. German time. So what's that, seven at home? So I'll get the other one up by, I'll try and get up in an hour, but that's gonna be a push. I've just got to film it here as well. And then I need to get an early night. It's all systems go. So that's it for another day in paradise, otherwise known as Germany. The Lucas Jensen edit has just gone out. Yeah, I do like to lay my front and edit. It's a bit weird. I find it comfortable and I find it quicker to edit as well. Two videos, me and Walter Bay, two England have gone out. My little air conditioning box I bought with Neto the other day is on full blast because once again, it is humid as fuck. I think I've mentioned it, but I'm off to Berlin in the morning. I want to get up at half past five because my train is at half seven. I as of yet have no clean clothes, no case pack, nowhere to park and nowhere to stay when I get... <laughs> to Berlin. Other than that, it's going all right. If you do want to donate to our YouTube channel, then our PayPal link is in the description below. But if you don't want to donate, that is absolutely fine. Just please keep watching, sharing, and subscribing. I'll see you in the morning. We are Berlin bound. Come on the free lines.